metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Wow, look at that. The fertilizer worked. Holy carrots, this thing's a world record. Incredible, Barry. Your pumpkin's a thing of wonder. Just imagine all the pies you could make from this giant vegetable. Not if they eat it all up. Who? <sighs> the caterpillars are real bad this year. I can't cut my pumpkin yet. It's still green, but they don't care. They'll gobble it up anyway. We'll see about that. I'll give these caterpillars the old one, too. I'll knock their antennas caterpillars off. Caterpillars don't have antennae, and we should never resort to violence. They just want to eat like the rest of us. Ha! I bet I can take care of these bugs faster than you can. <laughs> I think not. You're on. All right, soldiers. Our mission is to protect Barry's giant pumpkin from hungry invaders. We must wage an all-out war on these caterpillars with force. Got it? Roger. Thanks for your help. I just want to prove to Crash that calm, careful planning can sometimes be more effective than sheer force when trying to solve a problem. When the enemy insects advance from these trees, always listen to our greatest warrior, me! And when the bugs come our way, I'll be waiting at Fort Pumpkin. Hmm? Wally, you're our first line of defense. We'll put you here. Right. Now, after the massive caterpillar army tramples you down... Hang on. Tramples me down? I thought we had the advantage. This is war, soldier, and we are outnumbered. I'll be on the pumpkin, cheering you on through your violent battle. Just take out those insects. We honor your sacrifice. Have we considered a different plan? <laughs> Maybe, uh, diplomacy? I don't need a diploma to tell me that that kind of talk is for the losing side. I have a degree in winning battles. Are our supplies military grade? Military grade? My military grade is A+. Plus. And you'll both be getting grades also. Ooh. How's this? We build a moat all around and fill it up with water. Hmm. It might flood the pumpkin's root system. And we're dealing with winged insects that could fly over the moat anyway. <laughs> but How close. about a giant explosion? Just a thought. How would that help the pumpkin? With a giant explosion, there may not be a pumpkin anymore, but there won't be insects! Once Wally's down, Chico goes in and attacks the bugs with everything he's got until they're gone. Got it? Perfect. Once most of the enemy has been taken care of, if there are any survivors, I'll bravely go in and finish off the last of them. There's a 100% chance this will work about 50% right. Sound good? just hide the pumpkin or something. You know, put a disguise on it. Wait a second. You're right. The bugs can't eat what they can't see. An invisible pumpkin. Then I'll win my bet. I, I mean, we'll help Barry, of course. That's impossible. How will that work? Nothing's impossible. If it hasn't been done yet, we can be the first. And for this task, I think we'll use a little thing called molecular self-assembly. With it, we can make almost any material. 
Molecular self-assembly just means the ability of molecules to attach to each other without any help from outside forces. Everything in the universe is attracted to each other because of gravity. But planets don't crash into each other because they're too heavy. The smaller the object is, the greater their ability to stick to each other. Okay, even smaller than apples, smaller than seeds. Now we're getting somewhere. If two tiny particles meet, they'll stick to each other like glue. This happens on a huge scale with lots of particles meeting each other every second. Did you know that's how dust forms? Imagine something a thousand times smaller than dust. That's what nanotechnology works with. Nanoparticles stick to each other really, really well and make structures. They're so good at sticking to each other because of that thing we talked about earlier, self-assembly. If we could learn to harness that power, we could create almost anything. For example, we can make rubber for boots. We can make iron for horseshoes. We can even make magnets. And plastic for toys. Now, imagine being able to combine all the best traits of these different materials to make something entirely new. Materials that don't exist in nature are called metamaterials, and they can be super cool. What does that have to do with invisibility? I've got something in mind, my fine Antarctic friend. Here they come. We know that invisibility is not real, except in your point, which I can't see. With science, anything is possible. And look here, our pumpkin saver! Light is the reason we can see everything around us. Rays fall onto an object and bounce back into our eyes. That's how we see things in our minds. The reason it's hard to see when it's dark is that there's nothing to bounce off the objects. No light source, no information. And poor Crash will have to stumble around in the dark to find his snack. If we could create a material that doesn't let any light bounce off and doesn't change the light's direction, it would be invisible. Something like that doesn't exist yet, but with metamaterials, it just might one day. And that's exactly what we're going to need today. Hmm. Oh, hey, bugs. You're looking a little bit flushed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Incredible! I want to see what it looks like! Hey, all I see is dark! Um, hello? <laughs> that makes sense. Light is passing around you, so you can't see anything. How weird. What good is it for spying, then? Disappointing. It's not for spying. We have to save Barry's pumpkin. Remember where you put this thing, or we'll lose it. <laughs>
Do you feel lucky, Bugs? Well, do you? <laughs> Under control! Why would you take me from the battlefield at the crucial moment? Now that pumpkin is a goner! Oh, is that what you think? Look for yourself, soldier. Go on and see. <laughs> ah! I have guessed! <laughs> Unfortunately, looks like you're all out of luck. <laughs> you're too late. I ate it all. How? Oh, where did you move it? Military secrets. Scientific secrets. Oh. 